Greetings card fighters and welcome to Premium 101, an introduction to Card Fight Vanguard's premium format. I'm Devlin Cassidy, aka The Scholar, and I'm here to help you start your premium format journey in the game of Card Fight Vanguard. I hope that this starter's guide for today's clan is very beneficial in having you figure out what deck you want to pick up when you decide to play premium. I hope that you find this video very informational and helpful and hopefully have you start on your premium journey. And now we wrap up with the last of the ninja clans inside Dragon Empire and the final clan for Dragon Empire for Premium 101 getting to know your clan. We're going to talk about Murakumo and this is the true Shadow Clone Jutsu because you're going to be name copying and doing a bunch of stuff inside this deck. So we're going to go over Yasuye. Murakumo is an Excel clan um, like Tachikaze and Narukami um, and it's uh, on stride is actually pretty good for its stride up turn. Uh, so yeah, let's kind of talk about what Yasuye does. So um, when you stride on top of it, you can counter bust one, you choose one of your rear guards, and you search up to two cards with the same card name as that unit and call it to rear guard circle. So you get, are able to get a bunch of free value. And then you get to ride uh, a stride up into um, the Utsumi train, uh, which lets you then get two Excel gifts. Um, so you get a bunch of more zones for those cards to be called on top of. And then when the attack effect hits, um, is choose one of your rear guards, search up to your deck with two cards with the same card name as that unit, call it to rear guard, and then you get to put them on the bottom of your deck um, at the end of the turn. So it's a lot of cloning and a lot of like calling out a bunch of stuff. You have a great attack extender and Idioki Girl, um, which he can call another same card name. So you are literally just blinking your cards over and over again. One of the best cards though to copy actually is One Eyed Nuedo. And he checks for if he has the same card name on the board. Um, he gets boost and then. At the end of each turn, if you have five or more units, you can shove this card to your soul and draw a card. So, because you make so many Excel markers, you can actually have five other units on the board in the front, have these three in the back with boost, and then just shove these to three, draw three cards. Um, it's absolutely possible to be inside this deck. Um, but after you hit um, Yasuye, you want to be either riding into uh, Yasuye Tenma or um, the regular Yasuye. And this is going to give you access to the Hormora Raider combo, which essentially lets you get um, a bunch of attacks after um, you go into your first uh, kind of stride up turn. And you can restand this Hermora Raider multiple times because you can counter blast two, you flip another Hermora Raider face up in your G zone. If the number of cards in your G zone is two or more, um, you get to, uh, at the end of the battle, attack the Vanguard, you choose one of your rear guards and you choose three of your rear guards that have the same card name. You bot deck them and you get to restand him. And since you always forever have continuing additional cloning cards, such as a Spell Hound, you can Soul Blast two and search your deck for up to another Spell Hound and call it. Um, you're going to be able to continually like recycle these effects, which is really strong. Also using Orboro Keeper to be able to search for more grade three cards and keep on extending over your top end. And then you have other fun strides like uh, Itsuzume, which kind of is more applicable in the next deck we can talk about right now. So we're going to cover now um, Shiryuki. And Shiryuki's whole thing is about power negging. And you still do have the... Uh, Yasuye um, in here for the stride up turn just because uh, getting two Excel markers is still very powerful. Uh, we do like this lean engine inside this deck is what we would kind of call it. But you kind of uh, revolve around Shiryuki's whole ability to neg power. So it's when play Soul Blast 2, choose one of your opponent's front row units against minus 30,000 power into the end of that battle if it's placed on Guardian Circle. But the cool thing is that when your unit's attack does not hit, if you have a Vanguard with Shiryuki in its card name, you can counter bust one, choose one of your opponent's front row units, and it gets minus plus 10,000 to the end of turn. If it's on Vanguard, you can call a card with Shiryuki from its card name from your drop zone to an open rear guard circle so you don't get the last effect but you do get that mid effect to neg 10k your opponent's vanguard so you can spit out a bunch of cards actually with the uh inahume which is your probably your second like follow-up stride um which lets you then like stitch into more attacks and just use those cbs to make it, your opponents like harder to guard um so then eventually your attacks just because you have so many follow through so you're cloning a lot of cards you're getting dual weapon uh when it ret um, when it doesn't hit you get to retire it and choose a grade one or grade three card you search your deck for up to one with the same card name you call it to rear and so you're able to start a little like pseudo loops like that um but the the power with this deck comes really from the fantasy pedal storm shiryuki where you're able to actually soul blast two and just like neg your opponent's front row 10k um during your opponent's turn which that 10k is permanent so if they have like restanding rear guards and stuff they're going to be kept with that negative 10k for the rest of the turn unless your opponent starts hitting triggers and other things and putting that power back onto that unit but still very powerful and you're able to recur those fantasy pedals with rainy madam and you've been able to find them out of deck with just jetsukuko girl 
Um, so overall, this deck is fairly consistent and fairly powerful in terms of just being able to generate a lot of advantage uh, with the Yusui Lean engine. But if you like calling a bunch of cards, playing a bunch of cards from deck, um, this is kind of um, re uh, reminding me of the one where the place from Bind, I can't it's the new snake that just came out in uh, set 11. Um, that's very strong um, and can do a bunch of attacks because you can also attack from the back row with some of these cards and some of the stuff. So just like, yeah, please don't don't sleep. Like this card's fantastic. Uh, one other top end too that's an extender is actually the Shibaraku Victor. Uh, in the G zone, when your attack misses, you can Soul Blast one and call him to a uh, Excel or like a rear guard circle. Uh, you want to call him to Excel just so he's a 20k, so he can probably hit um, a little better. But like overall, like again, him just like being able to miss just to continue like recall over is pretty powerful. So. Um, yeah, you just have a lot of top end extensions and sometimes you just kind of overwhelm your opponent into a drought and that's kind of like where Murakumo strengths lie and just in power negging and being able to get a lot of boards and just doing a lot of like small minor combos to keep on extending into more powerful plays. Um, it's a lot of small pokes. Um, but the power negging with Shariyuki definitely helps you um, avoid those defenses while Yusuye's is all about like high power ceiling advantage and you're drawing a bunch of cards and then going into the kind of like Homura Raider uh, combo following that to do like around like 12 to 16 attacks depending on your counter blast amount and your um, find ways to find counter charges like uh, Onobayashi and other things just that way with your Shirinui, uh, Shir uh, with your Yusuye Vanguard um, you're able to counter charge so that's going to wrap it up for Dragon Empire. Let's see what other decks you have options for in premium. There you have it. Hopefully some of the deck ideas found here in this clan were very, very beneficial for you all. And so that way you guys can start your premium journey. If not, feel free to check out the other starters guides on this channel. If you kind of have a rough idea of what clans you're looking into. Or there's the entire video of where all this was broken up from. That you guys can feel free to put on the background and listen to. As you guys can watch me ramble about decks. But I hope that this was very beneficial. And that you guys continue along with me. Uh, hopefully see you in the next lesson. And until next time, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all later. Thank you.